Today we're going to talk about the differences between the Quattro XT and the new Mistrali XT. Generally, I think they both flex about the same. I think stated is 125 and 130. However, in the same size, this boot is almost one centimeter longer. It literally is just one shell size up. You can kind of see side by side that this despite being the same size, is about one centimeter longer. So, coincidentally, if you are in the same technical shell size, so say you order a 27 in both of these, this is going to be one full size smaller in actuality, which means that this will actually have a taller cuff height, which could perform, excuse me, which could improve ski performance uh, for some folks. Um, much more so than the difference, the stated difference of five in subjective flex rating. Personally, when I have these on side by side, I find the stiffness to be a wash. They are imperceptibly different, just depending on how much exact tension you have on everything. Um, so overall, fantastic for the Mistrali. Um, the buckles on the Quattro were one of my biggest complaints. This one in particular, when I had it tensioned properly, um, all it would take was just like a twig to get it to unlock, um, which is a royal pain in the butt. And generally, I hate these kind of lightweight, flimsy wire buckles, um, as opposed to, you know, metal, more robust feeling buckles. Um, so another win for the Mistrali there. We have just nice, beefy, big hardware. This is the only wire thing on it. Um, and honestly, that one I would, you know, rarely ever touch. The rest is just big, fat metal buckles, really secure feeling. Um, and then the addition of a nice over ankle strap. Personally, I feel like the um, Hoji series boots have proved that, and obviously Mistrali as well, that this is critical for heel hold. And personally, I think it does a even a better job than um, traditional four buckle design. So even though, you know, without power strap, this is technically a three buckle boot. Um, I feel it's just as secure as any four buckle boot out there. Um, on the back side, they've kept everything the same, same um, mechanism there. Um, just due to location and slight differences in upper cuff design. There is a difference in spread of two degrees as far as stated forward lean. You can see here that I've punched both these boots um, quite extensively, especially the Quattro here. Got a lot going on up in the big toe, that little guy right there, and quite a bit of work um, blowing out out there. Um, both of these are incredibly easy. The new recycled, um, I believe it's a P-Bax lower, um, it's just the easiest material that I've ever worked with in order to punch. So, um, very little time under the heat gun, easily done in my own garage, no issues. Um, they kept the same kind of, uh, carbon wrap, um, which, you know, allows a lot better tra power transmission to the boot. Essentially this area of the boot right here is what is going to bellow out when you apply forward pressure of flex. And so by adding a material that is stiffer there, um, right beneath the pivot point, um, it reduces the ability of the boot to bellow. Um, and then that combined with a wrap that essentially also directly connects the two areas that are trying to bellow apart is how they're able to create um, that level of rigidity. Um, yeah, so more robust buckles, um, very similar. I, I mean, I would just go as far as to say is almost identical lower. The one nice thing that they did over here was that here they use these wing-like um, versions. So instead of it being consistently <clears throat> this whole block, which can be problematic for people trying to get punches here because this material is extremely hard to punch, um, they just made it into like three different wings so this area is easier to work on as far as boot fitting goes and is, you know, essentially going to provide the same level of stiffness as far as I'm concerned.
Um, the real winner is that obviously this had a grip walk sole, which is terrible at both gripping and walking. You could see it also has this little nubbin that helps to work with um, kind of like shift style bindings, which is, you know, how that's just part of grip walk. Um, but it's also part of why grip walk sucks for actually walking in ice or, you know, actual mountaineering type terrain. Um, obviously, as I just demonstrated, the Mistrali is about 10 times easier to get in and out of than the Quattro. So another win right there. You also get, um, I don't have the liners in here, but this liner is way beefier. Um, so this boot is going to be in the same size as going to be um, warmer and the liner is going to be longer lasting. So two other wins. Um, back to the bottom, what I was originally trying to show you, we got like a full rubber Vibram sole, um, the gold standard, no weird lumps like that right there so it walks a lot smoother um and obviously it just has more material um underneath so you know especially when you're walking in scree or on rock this bad boy is going to last a lot longer um it shares the same amazing scarpa branded actual booster strap not a bullshit power strap but one that actually has elasticity um Really, Scarp is just killing it with their boot designs lately. Like, there's just no one else that's making quite the same refined product. Um, <clears throat> here in the upper, this is another difference, and this is how they kept the flex comparable. Um, <clears throat> you could see that here they have their kind of bracing style, where they've added those to keep a certain stiffness level in the upper. And here, they did the same thing that they did on the side of the boot where they added that carbon material in, you know, right on the alongside. So it's going to deform less. So a lot of smart engineering choices going on here. Um, I mean, kind of overall, I think the Quattro was a game changer boot as far as you know, when fully unbuckled, nothing walked like it. It literally walks like a two buckle besides being heavier. Um, but, you know, skis like a true 130 boot. And um, via trickle down economics, essentially we get all of the things that made the Quattro a game changer into the Mistrali, um, you know, without some of the concessions like the shitty wire buckles, the grip walk sole, um, the extreme performance fit so this lower is basically just everything bumped out one mil as opposed to that one so if that felt you know pretty prohibitive besides the fact that it's one entire size smaller um this one is more accommodating um and you won't have to do as much boot work if you had to do a bunch of boot work in the quattro so um in my opinion you know this the the mastrali is the definitive version of the quattro they might say that they're different and and yeah like the quattro you know if you're going to be hit and lifts and want a more performance fit and want grip walk like sure go for it but as far as i'm concerned you're getting everything that you get with the quattro in the new mistrali with none of the downsides um it's a fantastic boot caveat that i haven't skied it but having skied the Quattro quite extensively. This is my second pair of Quattros. Um, I would say that just based off of what I know about Scarpa, the feel on floor, um, and the fact that it shares the same DNA, essentially it shares literally the exact same lower, just bumped out by a millimeter. Um, I can say with high confidence how it's going to perform. Um, so really the only future review you're going to get is if it breaks and where. Um, Otherwise, pretty stoked to be on it this year.